Welcome. Today we're talking with church members John and Jean Garrett. John and Jean, generosity is a big part of our Christian faith. Uh, what inspires generosity in your lives? In the 1990s, the church did a course on Christian finances. And Jean and I were already tithing, but we thought, you know, maybe we'll learn something out of it. Um, one thing that's interesting about the tithe is when I was in engineering courses, our professors would say, if it's 10% or less, we forget about it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the 90% that we're going to concentrate on. And in the course we learned, we get to keep 90%. So time, tithing is your thing, as it is ours, it works. Um, the other thing that we noticed, though, is we were starting to accumulate too many things. And we did change our lifestyles around that. We slowed way down on the accumulation and started doing responsible giving, helping, responsible spending of our time. And we st started realizing that the things that we had were no longer owning us. They were pretty much given away. About that same time, uh, God put it on my heart to write and publish children's books on learning disabilities. And we had a brand new house then with a 12.5% mortgage. And the cost of those books worried us. We didn't know if we'd be able to continue paying the mortgage. So we had a serious conversation about it and decided that if that happened and we couldn't pay the mortgage, then we would just downsize because we really felt so strongly that it was important for us to, to put those books out into the world. Fortunately, um, CNN publicized the books and they did very well and um, there was no problem. It was almost like a reward for trust. Mm -hmm. But there are other times when our finances don't go so well, and then um, there's no reward. But um, tithing is, is just smaller that year. What experiences or people have taught you to be generous? I think the main one that sticks in my mind is my parents. Uh, my father's father was alcoholic. And my father left home at a young age to work so he could bring food and clothing home to his parents and his siblings. Probably as a result of that, my parents really were big into helping others. I mean, that was their background. And they took my brothers and me along with them when they did things in the community or at church. Uh, church was very important to them, as it was to us. So we, the three brothers and I, watched my parents very closely, watched what they did, and we wound up kind of mimicking what they do. Uh, we have the same sort of interests and so on. And our son and daughter, not long ago, told us that as they grew up, they watched closely what we did and how we did it. We didn't pay all that much attention to what we told them to do. Uh, as newlyweds, um, we had a lot of financial strain because I was a graduate student. And um, my thesis mentor offered to help us with some of my uh, educational expenses. And I found it very curious because he had taken a vow of poverty. So here's this man who has nothing, who's giving me money <laughs> to, you know, finish my education. Um, and when I protested about that, he said, just pass it on. So that is, uh, that's kind of been our motto. What would you all say to others considering giving to Parenton Presbyterian Church? 
I think giving to the church and to the community is both very wise. I think it's important to uh, really think deeply about what we do, why we do it, and are we achieving things that are meaningful to us and to others. Uh, for Jean and me, it's very important to uh, feel good about what we're doing and to make a difference in the world. We want to leave an impression when we leave this world. So we, we commit ourselves to volunteerism. It's, it's our thing. Um, I'll be interested when we, the church does its presentations on uh, various missions that our church is involved in in the fall. Some of the organizations that we've been involved in outside of PPC have included uh, literacy volunteers and um, helping a Somali family and um, working at a home for unwed mothers and also a place where abused women went. And all of these experiences give us insight into how others live and what they're concerned about. Um, experiences that we, you know, don't have otherwise. And so when you see someone, when you meet them, when they're part of your experience, then that's so inspiring. You see a need, you just want to fill it. It's not something that's manufactured or something that's imposed, but it's a desire that comes from within. Mm -hmm. And I do know, um, as far as PPC goes, that um, things are channeled through the church, money is channeled through the church in a very responsible way, and that makes me feel good about where it's going. I trust um, our people on the mission team to make sure that that is responsibly delivered. Well, thank you both so much for speaking with us today. We give thanks. Our pleasure. Thank you.